E hinga mana, e nga reo, tēnā koutou katoa. I first recorded a sombre but hopeful statement for this meeting two weeks ago, but Russia's aggression has necessitated a new message, one that wholeheartedly rejects its attempts to drag us all away from civility and closer to the abyss. New Zealand condemns in the strongest possible terms Russia's illegal invasion and occupation of Ukraine. This reckless and cynical breach of the UN Charter has already cost too many lives and could see many more lost as conflict continues. I repeat the calls of my Prime Minister, Foreign Minister and many other international leaders for Russia to immediately cease military operations in Ukraine, to permanently withdraw its troops and end the pointless loss of innocent life. New Zealand is deeply disturbed by President Putin's thinly veiled threats of nuclear retaliation against those that would seek to stand in Russia's way. Our concern intensified by his subsequent move to place Russia's nuclear deterrence on high alert. This irresponsible and destabilizing act increases the risk of miscalculation with catastrophic consequences for humanity consequences that would cross borders and generations. And this from a president who just two months ago joined the leaders of the other NPT nuclear weapon states to reiterate that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. We urge Russia to cease its dangerous nuclear rhetoric and to return to a diplomatic path with urgency. Nuclear weapons must never be used again under any circumstances. In the short space of one week, Russia has put at risk decades of diplomacy on nuclear non-proliferation. It has hollowed out negative security assurances and incentivized the proliferation of nuclear weapons. All states must abide by their international obligations. They must comply with international humanitarian law at all times. No state is above the law. I'm deeply concerned at reports of cluster munitions use by Russia in the current conflict. As a strong supporter of the Convention on Cluster Munitions, New Zealand condemns any use of these inhumane weapons and urges all parties to the conflict not to use them. The protection of Ukraine's civilian population must be the highest priority. The use of explosive weapons in Ukraine's cities and towns must be avoided at all costs. I had wished to focus my remarks today on the importance of achieving a positive outcome on nuclear disarmament at the 10th NPT Review Conference. Doing so will require concrete steps to be taken by the nuclear weapon states in fulfilment of their Article 6 obligations and their unequivocal undertaking to achieve the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Recent events have made all too clear the horrifying consequences that could await us if this is, once again, kicked down the road. And so I urge all countries, and the nuclear weapon states in particular, to come to the review conference committed to achieving progress. The time for concrete action and action that goes well beyond the joint P5 statement issued in January is now. I refer you to my written statement which will be circulated and which features New Zealand's views on the broader range of issues on the agenda of this conference and of importance to countries committed to disarmament and non-proliferation. Key among these is New Zealand's strong support for the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. We encourage all states to join us at the TPNW's first meeting of states' parties later this year as members, signatories or observers. I wish to end with a call to action for this body. A crisis like the one before us demands an effective response. New Zealand doesn't dispute the value of kōrero, discussion and debate, in bringing states and peoples together. But we need more than talk. 
it is well past the time for the Conference on Disarmament to fulfill its negotiating mandate and for us all to demonstrate political will and flexibility to bring us back to the negotiating table.